Hey guys, James here, TCG University, coming back at you with another deck profile. This time for Rando. We're continuing the Yu Hakusho fanboy decks, so uh, let's get into it. Rando is a six hand size, third vitality character. Form once per turn, remove one attack in your opponent's discard pile from the game. Play one card from your hand into your card pool face down as a copy of the removed attack with one resource symbol of your choice, following all restrictions and paying all costs. That's very strong. It's a fatality every turn, as well as just getting to play cool cards from your opponent's discard pile. If they're playing cool cards, that could support your deck. Uh, e, discard momentum. Your attacks get plus one speed and plus one damage for the rest of the turn. If your opponent has is at desperation, your attacks get plus one for the rest of the turn. Uh, this ability is very, very good. Uh, momentum is easy to get now in this game, and reduction is easy to have in our card pool to put our opponent at desperation because of its static. Uh, so let's get into the foundations. Four, hiding in plain sight. Uh, this is just an E, add this card to your momentum. If your opponent is at desperation, with reduction, it's easy to get to. Uh, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Just a very easy get free momentum. Four, human hunter. Uh, R commit after your attack deals damage. Your attack, your next attack this turn gets plus two speed, plus one damage. It's a nice spam that gives more damage and speed to our next attack. We're playing two, true identity. It's unique, so we're only playing two of it. Uh, form, commit. Your text for the rest of the turn get plus one. And then rando -y, your attack gets plus one, plus one, playable while committed. I personally think that card should not have said playable while committed, but oh well. For Sadist, uh, if your opponent is at desperation, it gets negative two difficulty, making it a spam. But normally it's a 2-4 with no block. Uh, it has two first forms. First form, destroy your opponent is considered to be at desperation until the end of this turn. So if you don't have a reduction, you have that. And then first form, flip. If your opponent is at desperation, draw two cards. You may add one card from your hand to your momentum. So that's only really good if your opponent is... So the first form, the first first form, it's only really good if you don't have reduction in your hand. And the second first form's only really good if your opponent is actually at desperation at the start of the turn. Uh, so going into the rest of the deck, we're playing four New Empress of Nether Realm. E, flip, lose three vitality, draw a card. Gives us more cards to hand. Being a 7 for 30 would be nuts. Uh, 3, Most Trusted Assassin. It's a E, lose 1, make your opponent check bad for the next one. And then uh, as a first form, you can reveal one card in your opponent, one random card in your opponent's hand. Very good. Uh, 4, Invoking Blood Magic. We do a lot of uh, things with our momentum, so we want to keep it. So we play Blood Magic. It has the second ability. is It's a uh, second ability that's not a static is enhance evil only remove reduce this attack speed to zero only playable if you have lost vitality this turn we do a few things with losing vitality so it's easy to get to and then it, the static that we care about your opponent must discard one momentum as an additional cost of play abilities that would discard any number of your momentum so if they want to discard our momentum they have to be able to discard their own momentum on their own uh, so then we're also playing one last of his kind it's paid to make damage, and at desperation, we get more damage. Uh, face of a monster has a desperation change zone, deadlock, discard, make them discard, and a constant speed debuff we can use once per turn. Outworld Zerus gets rid of problem cards by paying for li paying life. Azure Nightmare is a good spam that makes our opponent not want to stun us, as well as giving us a cool six check, a three high block that also readies. Cage Fire is just a cool spam that flips to nag checks. We're playing one spell circle. Gives us a free momentum as well as being cool fodder for other abilities in the game in our deck. Uh, going on to the, the rest of the, the attacks. We're playing four hate fish. I feel like this card is extremely good. It's a one low for seven. So if you don't have a low block, it's a it's coming at you for seven damage. E double the next speed or damage bonus this attack receives. Only play with this is this card is immediately preceded by an attack or a face down card, which is very nuts. So you give plus one plus. So you give so your next one would be like a eh, last of his kind. I'll give it two damage because I'm at desperation. Well, it'll get four. So then it's a one for eleven. And then E, if your opponent is at desperation, this attack is two speed. So if you have reduction in front of it, comes in as a three for nine. You give it uh, your opponent's at desperation. You use its ability. You give it two more speed. This two speed gets doubled, making it a seven for seven with re just reduction in the card pool. It's just nuts. 
uh, has safe and ally. It's just really, really good. Uh, we're playing four life force thread. This attack has received a speed and damage bonus. Your next attack gets plus three speed and plus one damage. Rando does it. Reduction does it. It's just easy to get for thread. And then E, if this attack is not blocked, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Very easy to get to. Four, Rando Spirit Gun. Uh, it has the enhance that says you can play once per turn abilities, twice per turn. And you can only play the ability if, it's, if this card is immediately preceded by an attack or a face down card. So it's very strong. It's a powerful four EX two five min for five attack. Um, if it has received a speed and damage bonus, it gets another plus two plus two. So with reduction in front of it, it's a nine nine. Uh, under reduction itself, it's a three three difficulty three control one mid block, one mid for one breaker two. While it's in the card pool, your other attacks get plus two speed and plus two damage, and your opponent's considered to be at desperation. If this attack is not blocked, you get to add the top card of your deck to your momentum, which just fuels Rando even more. Uh, so, like, it's just very, very strong. And then the last stack we're playing, Flameport. It's a three control, three diff, uh, three mid block, three mid for mid, three. Uh, Desperation two, Fury kick. E lose one vitality. This attack gets one, one. E lose one vitality. If it is blocked, you add it to your momentum, which just fuels Rando even more. And with reduction in front of it, it's a 6-6. Six, six. It's just very, very strong. And f because it feels rando, it just gets to be very, very good. Rando can sometimes get out of the hand if you have the momentum to do such. If not, rando doesn't do a whole lot himself. Rando kind of just sits there and twiddles his thumbs until he can get momentum or get a reduction and kind of like get his deck moving. So yeah, guys, that was the profile. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel to see more of it. Uh, if you want to help us out, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. Subscribe at any of those levels. And as always, stay learned.